Department of Perinatology named after Alash Kozbakar. Topic: Bleeding in the second half of pregnancy. Plan of lecture. Definition of obstetric bleeding. Main causes: Bleeding in the second half of pregnancy, placenta previa. Clinical picture of placenta previa. Diagnostics. Bleeding in the second half of pregnancy, placental abruption. Clinical picture of abruption of normally located placenta. Diagnostics. Principles of emergency care. Obstetric bleeding is a bleeding occurring due to complications of pregnancy, labor, and postpartum period. Twenty-five persons of maternal mortality caused by obstetric bleeding. Here you can see vessels supplying the uterus, fallopian tube, ovary, and vagina. Classification of obstetric bleeding. Bleeding in the first half of pregnancy. Bleeding in the second half of pregnancy in the first and second periods of labor. Bleeding in the third period of labor. Early postpartum hemorrhage during 24 hours after labor, especially in the early postpartum period. And the late postpartum hemorrhage. The relationship between the period of occurrence of obstetric bleeding and their causes. Bleeding in the first half of pregnancy. Common causes are abortion, ectopic pregnancy, hydatiform mole. Main causes of the bleeding in the second half of pregnancy, first and second periods of childbirth, are placenta previa, early placental abruption. Bleeding in the third stage of, stage of labor, mainly caused by abnormalities. And postpartum hemorrhage, usually caused by disorder of myometrium contractility after labor, retention of placental tissue, trauma, disorder of blood coagulation properties. Bleeding in the second half of pregnancy in the first and second periods of labor. Main reasons Placenta previa and early placental abruption. Placenta previa is the attachment of the placenta in the lower uterine segment when the placenta completely or partially blocks the eternal pharynx of the cervix. Classification of placenta previa Central placenta previa Marginal placenta previa Regional placenta previa And clinical classification of placenta previa Complete placenta previa and incomplete or partial placenta previa. In this picture you can see partial and complete placenta previa. Causes of placenta previa divided on two. Maternal and fetal factors. Clinical picture of placenta previa. Firstly, is genital bleeding in the second half of pregnancy, first and second periods of labor. Painless uterus at palpation. Normal uterine tone often pelvic presentation or abnormal fetal position. Condition of the fetus at the initial stage doesn't suffer.
here you can see pelvic presentation of the fetus. And transverse position of fetus. The mechanism of bleeding with placenta previa. The mechanism of placenta separation at normal labor. At normal course of labor, after childbirth, placenta starts to separate from, uh, from uterus slowly with formation of rental placenta or hematoma. At placenta previa, when uterine cervix is opened, there are present tissue of placenta which starts to bleed. Features of bleeding with placenta previa Usually it begins suddenly with no apparent reason, at rest and often at night. Sometimes straining during an act of defecation or physical exertion or rough vaginal examination can provoke hemorrhage. Clinical picture Bleeding is painless, always external, in, and blood have a scarlet color with the clots. Diagnostics of placenta previa based on complaints, anamnesis, objective examination data, and ultrasound. Delivery tactics central or complete placenta previa is absolute indication for cesarean section. Birth control tactics for incomplete placenta previa. First of all, assessment of woman's general condition, skin color, blood pressure, pulse, the volume of blood loss, the condition and position of the fetus. Emergency in case of large blood loss and shock is emergency cesarean section and infusion transfusion therapy in accordance with the clinical protocol. In case of low blood loss, gentle amniotomy to reduce the rate and volume of bleeding. At head presentation of the fetus, delivery through the natural birth canal is possible. In this slide you can see head position of the fetus with placenta previa. With pelvic presentation of the fetus, labor must be completed by cesarean section. Premature placental abruption, also called a premature detachment or normally located placenta, is a separation of a placenta during pregnancy in the first and second periods of childbirth. Here you can see formation of retroplacental hematoma and bleeding while fetus is still inside the uterus. It can be caused by uh, abruption of placenta. It can be caused by deficiency, inferiority of the vascular wall in the area of placental bed. Risk factors Arterial hypertension, chronic kidney disease, preeclampsia, eclampsia, rapid emptying of the uterine cavity, as amniotic fluid flow or a rapid labor process, short umbilical cord, or excessive labor. 
The formation of retropocentral hematoma is decided in the pathogenesis of premature detachment of a normal located placenta. The growing of retropocentral hematoma contributes to further progression of placental abruption. Impregnation of the muscle of the uterine wall, also called imbibition, up to the development of the uterus of Kuvelar. The hematoma gradually exfoliates the membranes and pores all through the cervical canal, leading to external bleeding. At this picture presented cuvelar uterus, which has cyanotic color completely imbibed by blood. Clinic of premature detachment of normally located placenta. Bleeding firstly inside in the uterine cavity. Its symptoms is pale skin color, decreased blood pressure, rapid pulse, and only then it starts to external bleeding. External bleeding often with dark blood, without clots. Firstly, local uterine pain according to the location of hematoma. The growing tension of the uterus and increasing of the uterine tone. Signs of, the, of fetus suffering appears early. The fetus dies when one or third of the placenta is detached from the uterine wall. Diagnostics of uh, placental abruption is, uh, based on complaints, anamnesis, accurate assessment of the situation, the general condition of woman, amount of blood loss and condition of the fetus. Main clinical signs is pain, hypertonicity and painfulness of the uterus, signs of internal bleeding, fetal suffering and of course ultrasound data. Tactics The diagnosis of placental abruption requires the urgent completion of pregnancy and childbirth. It's necessary to urgently empty the uterus. Emergency cesarean section during pregnancy and the first stage of labor. In the second stage of labor, accelerate the expulsion of the fetus by surgery. It can be vacuum extraction of fetus, the application of obstetric forceps, removing of the fetus by the pelvic end, which is necessary at pelvic presentation of fetus. At this picture you can see using the obstetric forceps, Thank you for attention.